this thing on? Hey Johnny, if you find this recording, just know I wasn't able to finish the custom. I did everything I could, but in the end, it just wasn't enough. I ran out of tape and paint two days ago, cotton balls run out tomorrow morning, and that'll be it. I haven't forgotten about that custom battle we did a couple years back. Just know, I let you win. What's going on YouTube? Welcome back to this new episode of Restorations with Vic. What I'm gonna be customizing today are these 2006 Pure Money 3s. I'm gonna be turning them into an Iron Man Custom. This custom is gonna be so sick. I have it in my head mapped out. Now I just gotta freaking do it. On this shoe, it's gonna have a lot of paneling, a lot of shading, gold and red of course, and a little bit of silver. And the best part about this custom is gonna have some LED lights in the air units and other areas of the shoe. I'll show you how to do all of that later on in this video. This custom is gonna be pretty tough and it's gonna require a lot of work. So guys, enough chit chat, let's get started. First step we gotta do is prep work. We're gonna be using acetone and cotton balls to remove the entire finish off the shoe. That way the paint can stick. But first, using a heat gun, we're gonna go in and remove the gel mat off the tongue. Prep work's good to go, we're ready for paint. But before we can start painting, we gotta tape off the uppers. All taped up guys, now let's go ahead and lay down our first color, which is our metallic silver. We're gonna be focusing that color on the pound leather and the back tab using my airbrush. All right guys, so we got the silver laid down all over this panel and the back tab, it looks freaking sick. It really pops. So now we're gonna go ahead and tape that off so we can lay down our second color, which is our red. All taped up, now let's go ahead and lay down our metallic red through our airbrush. We got the tape off guys, the metallic red and the metallic silver look super dope, it really pops, um, it gives it that metal look. This is just 10% of this custom, we still got so much more to go. The next color we're gonna lay down is some more silver. The silver is gonna go on both sides of the shoe, right here specifically, um, but what we gotta do first is some taping. All taped up, let's lay down our paint. Silver's good to go, we're making progress on this custom. One thing I did forget to mention was the back tab. The paint peeled right off when I laid down the red paint. When I removed the tape, it just removed the entire silver paint. It's no problem, later in this video, I'll go ahead and redo it. Um, I just wanted to point that out to you guys. Next thing we gotta do is do some more taping so we can start laying down some gold on the shoe. All 
all taped up. Once again, now let's lay down our gold paint. Gold's laid down guys, the gold really pops on the shoe, it contrasts nicely with the metallic red and the metallic silver. I also went ahead and got rid of the silver on these areas on both sides of the shoe, it just did not look right, it was just too much silver. So I went in and applied metallic red like the rest of the shoe. I think it flows a lot better like this, um, we'll see once the shoe is fully wrapped up. So now the next step I gotta do is do some more taping. Once again, we're gonna tape off areas so we can start laying down the gold on the collar and the sock liner. Good to go, now let's go ahead and paint these sock liners and the ankle area. Almost done with the color blocking. The last part we gotta do is this area right here on both sides. We're gonna tape everything around it so we can lay down the metallic red. All right guys, so we went ahead and did a lot of this work off camera. As you can see, the shading, the paneling looks really dope. It's really giving a lot of depth to this custom. We still have a lot more work to go. The way you do shading is just by using black paint and tape. What I'm gonna focus my attention on now is this area specifically right here and right here. We gotta do some taping before I can start laying down um, the black paint. All right guys, just to catch you guys up, we did a lot of this work off camera. All the shadings get to go on the red and gold. It was a ton of work for two reasons. One, I found myself going back, redoing a lot of the panels just cause I did not like how it was coming out. Also, a lot of the paint was ripping off in certain areas so I had to go back and do a lot of touch ups. Took a ton of hours, but luckily I got to this point. I also went ahead and redid the jump man, glued it back onto the shoe and painted the back tabs. The shoe's good to go, now let's move on to the LED lights. For this Iron Man Custom, I have two sets of lights. The first one, for my air unit, it has three LEDs. And the second set, seven lights for the lace holes on top. So pretty much what you need, if you're gonna be putting LEDs on your shoe, is a battery holder, a switch, and of course, your LED. It's super simple to do. What you have to do is put red on red, and black on black, and twist. All right, so we got it twisted up. Now let's grab our battery, put it in real quick, and hit the switch. Once you have it all fully twisted up, wired up, you're gonna wanna put some shrink tube on the edges of the wires. That way it protects it um, from coming apart or anything else. So we're not gonna be using this light. Iron Man does not have green lights. Let's grab the LEDs we are gonna be using. These right here are for the air unit. So now that we have our lights fully set up, ready to go, let's move on to the installation. On this shoe, we'll start with the air units. Off camera, I went ahead and drilled three holes straight down the air unit inside the shoe. I used my drill to do so. Super easy to do. You just don't wanna be punching holes anywhere inside the shoe. Make sure you calculate it right. On the shoe, 
there's kind of two barriers inside. So if you were to just drill one hole and put one light, the light would just be glowing in the middle. You have to put three holes and three lights for the whole thing to be glowing brightly. So we have our holes ready to go. Same thing with our lights. Now let's go ahead and install them. We're just gonna go ahead and poke them in, lay them down flat so it can go nicely under the insole. Lights are good to go. In just a bit, we'll flatten them down so you can go nicely under the insole. Before we do that, we're gonna install the second set of lights. The second set is a lot trickier because there's a lot going on here. We have seven lights. Um, the way I'm gonna do it is put them in and lace up the shoe as I go. Check it out guys, we got the lights nicely installed in the shoe, the air unit's glowing, same thing with the lace lock and the lace holes. Um, took a little while to get it perfectly inside the shoe without the wires all over the place. Took me, it was a good 30, 40 minute process. Luckily, everything turned out nicely. The switch is super accessible. It's two switches. Super easy. If you guys are looking for these lights, head over to modeltrainsoftware.com. That's where I found them. Um, they have a ton of different lights. They have the battery holders, they have the switches, everything you need to get the lights inside your shoes. So that's gonna wrap it up on this custom, guys. This Air Jordan 3 Iron Man Custom was a ton of work, but it's easily one of my top three customs that I've done so far. The lights really set it off for me. Same thing with the colors, the shading, the paneling. It's all so dope. Took me a ton of time, a ton of hours went into this shoe. A lot of touch-ups, a lot of paint, but at the end, this shoe came out super clean. Shout out to Rishuminator for always giving me the opportunity to do these dope projects. Head over to shoeminator.com to find all of our amazing shoe care products. That's gonna be it guys. Let me know in the comment section below if you guys are gonna go watch Avengers Endgame this weekend. I know I am, three times. Make sure you subscribe and like our channel cause that helps our channel grow. This is Vic Almighty, I'll see you guys next Monday.